Hi there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and in this video what I'm going to try and do is make a super articulated mud trooper from the Solo A Star Wars Story. Now I want to give a big shout out to Caleb Amos on the Vintage Collection Facebook group because his post was the first time that I saw somebody do this and I also want to give a big shout out to my buddy John Miko because I do remember when these two figures were first announced he made a graphic up which I will put on the screen right now that showed you how basically the parts of these figures could be leveraged to make a super articulated mud trooper which is awesome now I'm going to use the figures out of this one I've heard that the heads on these will fit on this body and also what I can remember from these figures is that they do have like a peg on the cape which we may need to cut off and then glue on this guy I'm not too sure and also the pipes that are coming from the helmet I think they attach in the back of the figure as well but we'll have to check that out when we get the figures out of the packaging but basically that's what I want to do I want to see if I can do this I don't really customize figures or anything but until Hasbro give me a mud trooper or a super articulated mud trooper this is what I'm going to have to do basically so we're going to attempt it in this video so this pack here is the seven pack uh the force link 2 seven pack target exclusive now i remember when this first was announced it was impossible to get hold of and then the entertainer in the uk just got loads of them and they were selling them for 20 pounds so i i picked up a few of these i've got to admit they're all in my loft i don't know i've maybe got three or four of them so i dug one of them out um to check it out so we've got a stormtrooper a mimbam stormtrooper a patrol trooper the Han Solo in Disguise Mud Trooper, a Standard Mud Trooper, and a TIE Fighter Pilot. Um, awesome 7 pack, obviously restricted because they're only 5 POA. They might be a little bit more than 5 POA because I think the wrists move so they can hold the weapons and things like that. But essentially, they don't really have knees and ankles and you know super articulated joints and things like that. So the idea is, is to make our own in this video and see if we can do it. Okay, so here's the two figures close up for you. They're, they're great looking figures, but as I say, the problem is that they don't move from this position. This is the only real pose that you're gonna get with them. The elbow is bent that way permanently, so it's, it's not great, basically. Now, what you can see is that the Han Solo Mud Trooper does actually have this red armband, which matches the Din Djarin Morak figure. The Migs Mayfeld figure that I have also has the red armband, but that has been corrected, and you can get one with a standard green armband so perhaps the standard grunt mud troopers had the green band and this one has a white with red lines down it which denotes that he's a squad leader i believe so the one that i'm going to attempt to work with in this video is the hand solo so we're just going to get this guy out of the way to start with and let's just take this guy apart very quickly so we can see what's what let's get rid of his blaster so he comes with those goggles there on top. Now I do believe that you can put the face mask in and then put the goggles down and he turns into a mud trooper in disguise, which is awesome. This is why this would be so cool to have these in the vintage collection, right? So let's pull that off there. Let's take the head off. So I'm led to believe that this head will indeed fit on to the Mix Mayfeld body. So let's see if we can do that. Now, also, as I mentioned before, I think these have like pegs in them. They do. So obviously the Mix Mayfeld body does not have those peg holes. So to get the cape on, we may need to sort of like cut those pegs off and then glue it down. And then this mask, as I said before, yep, I'm right. It does. It goes into the backpack. Now, let's see if we can pull those out. Yes, we can. Can pull those out in fact they've snapped <laughs> thought they would so we could just maybe glue those down but i'm not going to do that all of that in this video i just really want to see that the head fits on and we can get the cape on and then we can just get him looking you know like a mud trooper basically okay so here's the din jarring and we're just gonna plonk the head off and we're going to need to get that out and then put it into the other head and there it is that's been taken out of the Din Djarin head and then I'm hoping that that is going to fit into there so we're just going to try and push that in okay then so there you go that is the Mud Trooper helmet on the body of Din Djarin. now the neck is a different color to the head ever so slightly but with the mask on like that you can't really tell 
And as you can see there, those pipes there, that is where they would go on the other figure. So you just need to glue those down basically to keep them in place. And then we've got the cape. Now the cape isn't gonna sit flush unless we cut those off. So I'm just gonna cut those off right now before I put it on. And there we go. We have the super articulated mud trooper. I think he looks pretty awesome, especially as I haven't actually glued down the cape yet or the pipes that go into the back of the armor. And in fact, the back of the armor does have two very small holes. So it's used the same sculpt and what have you. So they should be quite easy to glue in there. And I think he looks great. I think until Hasbro creates something for us, I think these are gonna do very nicely. That's if any of you have still got a solo set up. You know, we don't really have too many figures from Solo, which is a massive shame in my opinion, because I love the aesthetics of that show. Some of the designs of the troopers and everything are great, especially these mud troopers. I think they were one of the best things about it. And the good news, I guess, is if you have seen the Andor trailer, then we get to see these guys again, although they look a little bit different. They're more painted black. I think they're going to be like riot troopers or something. But the helmets look pretty much exactly the same to me. Definitely got the same goggles and everything. So that's the Han Solo in disguise, but I'm sure if you wanted to use this one, you could. But to be honest, I think that head sculpt's pretty much exactly the same anyway. I think they've just glued that mask on. I'm pretty sure that's the Han Solo head underneath there. But you can see, as I said, he's got that different rank on his arm. Let me just turn the figure around very, very quickly so you can see the back. Now, of course, it might even be better with soft goods cloak, but I do like the way that they've got that one with the hood draping down and everything it would probably get in the way of the articulation. But if they could create soft goods that look as good as that, then I'd be all for it. But I think this is pretty cool. I like, I like that we're able to do this with these figures. I think they look great. So once again, big shout out to Caleb Amos on the Vintage Collection Group and also my mate John Miko as well for originally having the idea. He really does state out in his graphic how Hasbro could achieve this properly, you know, with all the accurate armor and everything and cloak and trousers and what have you i'm sure there are some slight differences but at the end of the day i think this looks pretty cool so there you go then guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below are you going to attempt this at the end of the day it's just a 5 poa figure that you're going to have to ruin to create this i didn't mind doing it at all and now this is going to look pretty cool on the shelf thanks for watching everybody and we shall see you on the next one